Hello guys, in this video we will see what parts do we need to install a 16 channels HDCVI surveillance system. First, a 16 channels DVR and 12 volts, 10 amperes, 18 port power supply. This is enough to power up all 16 channels of the DVR and you will still have two empty ports. They can be used to power up the DVR itself. Each channel has a fuse for overcurrent circuit protection. We'll need a power cord for the power supply. This is the HDCVI DVR. It is a triggered DVR so it can be used to monitor analog, HDCVI and also two IP cameras. It can preview all 16 channels in 1080p in real time 25 frames per second. The maximum bitrate is 4096 kilobytes per second. This means it can record 16 channels at 720p at 15 frames per second. As for storage we can install a single hard drive, up to 4 terabytes. This is the power supply of the DVR. We will connect a mouse in the rear USB port of the DVR. Next, add up to 16 HDCVI cameras. For each camera connection we need a pair of HDCVI Balin transceivers. One Balin transceiver is connected to the surveillance camera and the other one to the DVR. Between these transceivers you have to run the CAT5 cable. For each camera you will use a pair in the UTP cable, it means you can run four cameras on a single cable. This is the advantage of a HDCVI surveillance system over an IP-based camera system. Using a HDMI cable, you can connect the DVR to a monitor. You can use a 10 meters cable also, it will work. You can also extend the HDMI cable using some female HDMI extenders. If you want to watch the live preview on two monitors, you can add this HDMI splitter at the rear HDMI port of the DVR. Run a CAT5 UTP cable from your router to the DVR. Using a nice wireless router like this, or like this, you can control the DVR from anywhere using the mobile or desktop app. You will need to set up a fixed internal IP address in the DVR, forward the monitor port in the router and use a DNS service if you don't have a fixed public IP address. If you are concerned about power failures, you should add a UPS. This will keep your system running for hours even in case of a short or long power failure, with no interruptions. Don't forget to buy some power connectors to run the power from the power supply to each camera. You can run the power through the same CAT5 cable. Add some UTP connectors, just in case you will need to relocate your internet router and replace your existing network cable. This will require a few tools. A stripping tool will be also very useful. For a precise project, it's better to measure two times before cutting the UTP cable. For this, you can use a laser range finder like this one. A scissor can be also helpful. 
If you wish to install 16 cameras, you'd better buy a 305 meters roll of unshielded UTP CAT5 cable. Last but not least, the power.